It's New Year's Day 2022 and you know one of my resolutions for this year was to try to keep my shop a little bit more cleaned up and organized. So what better time to start than on the first day of the year, right? And I've had a few people ask, so I thought I'd give you a little shop tour, but not until after I clean some of this stuff up first. So you just sit tight and I'll show you. Well, I filmed that intro much earlier today. I've spent a lot of time cleaning the shop, had to stack some firewood and eat supper, but I decided to title this video for subscribers only because I think the content of this video is gonna be for those diehard subs because I don't think a lot of people are gonna be interested in my shop. But later on in this video, I am going to do a little talk about the channel. I wanna talk about my plans for 2022. I wanna mention a few things that have happened uh, this past year. I wanna bring up a few things that uh, I wanna just talk to subscribers about to get some feedback and opinions. And this, that part of it's gonna be a little bit more personal and I'm not gonna to try to edit so much. This is gonna be kind of an off the cuff type of video. But let's get back to the shop tour. So if you did happen to click on this because of that, I'll start out with a little bit of history. So we built the shop in 2013 after a storm took down a old shed that we had out back. Fortunately, we got a little insurance money for that, and that was our seed money to build this shop. I paid to have it built. It's a post frame or pole barn type of building, and I hired a contractor to come in here, build the building, and pour the concrete floor. And in 2013, that cost us $25,000. Actually, I had the foresight back then to set up an old camera, an old cell phone that I had in the window of one of my buildings, and I filmed a bunch of time lapses of them building this building and I have them on my YouTube channel. They're pretty boring by today's standards, but uh, you know, if you dig around on my channel, you can find those really old time-lapse videos. And if I can find them, I'll piece a few in here while I'm talking, but. So we built the building and had the outside finished and I finished the inside. Now when I say I, that's a team of people. That's my, my dad and my brothers and a bunch of my friends. Too many to list because I fear that I would miss someone, but had a lot of help to put the tin on the inside and my dad and brother are electricians and they help do all the wiring and I just anybody that was willing to come over and help uh, one of the interesting things is we did is that this entire building is insulated with three inch thick styrofoam that I got used it was laying out behind somebody's barn and I got this big trailer load of the styrofoam and we lined the whole interior of the building with that thick styrofoam and then I had it spray foamed. So essentially this building is kind of like a cooler. It, it heats and it cools pretty well actually too. The biggest loss of heat in this building is the overhead doors. Otherwise, it doesn't take much to heat it. So then I just finished the inside a little bit at a time. A Couple of the big things I knew that I wanted when I built this was I knew that I wanted to heat it pretty much all the time and it is, it's, it's heated all winter long. I try to keep the main part of the shop above 50 degrees. 50 to 55 degrees is a good working temperature if you're out here doing something. And then my office area, I keep a little bit warmer. Also, I wanted water out here so that I could have a restroom and wash vehicles inside if need be. The, uh, there's a couple things that I use this shop for that I never would have guessed when I built it. And we'll touch on that too later on. All right, enough about the history and how we built it and how it got built. I guess I'll just grab the camera and we'll walk around and take a look on the inside. <laughs> There's the main entry door. Right inside the door, of course, is our refrigerator. Keep a lot of nice frosty beverages in there, nothing exciting. A lot of people don't realize that that's a refrigerator though with the wood paneling on it. This workbench I got at an auction, I don't know, 20 years ago, long time ago. I guess we'll just walk around the perimeter. So. All of my cabinets and of course that's a locker. All this stuff is secondhand. I got it from somebody or bought it at a garage sale or an auction, but this cabinet's got all of my like hitches and toe straps. And this is a little tote I can take with me that's got ratchet straps, hooks and pins and clevises. Up above I keep all of my sprayer stuff to spray the yard. So that's kind of up and out of the way and out of sight. Of course, just keep a couple fuel cans laying around. There's my cutoff saw. The motor home, uh, something we got in 2021, and I really don't want to be storing it in the shop, but that is where it ended up, and 
well, I haven't had to winterize it or anything like that. Plus it keeps it nice and temperature controlled. So it's gonna live in here for a while. This is a 755 with a loader tractor. I bought this for 4,000 bucks, probably six years ago. Here's a 755 four wheel drive I bought for 3,500 bucks, three or 3,500 bucks. It had a snow blade on it. And uh, there's quite a few videos on the channel about my 755s. Here's a sprayer, of course, cardboard. You always need cardboard to lay on or soak stuff up. Souvenirs, I got souvenirs everywhere. That's from the demolition derby soccer match at Harlan Days. That was the car that I had built, or I didn't build it. I painted it and got it ready like a derby car. Uh, this is like my automotive stuff back here. So oil and antifreeze, grease, those type of things. Here's laser components and levels. This cabinet's full of just like electrical stuff. And when I used to do uh, dog fences, all my dog fence parts and pieces are in there. I have a paint cabinet, all the painting there. There's my laser and some tools. This cabinet here is full of like uh, power tools, sawzall, circular saw, skill saw, couple nailers. Of course, got battery chargers and rags, hand towels, chairs. There's chairs everywhere. And uh, well, we'll talk about the chairs too in a minute. This is my WD-40 cabinet. Got to keep all my WD-40 and my whatnots in there. I could tell you where I got every one of these darn cabinets. There's a sign from Junior from SOT Metalworks. He made, that's my older logo, but he made that sign for me. My toolbox, this bottom box, it was the first thing I ever bought when I was in high school with a credit card. I got a credit card from Sears to buy this toolbox. And then later on, my buddy Ryan, he found those middle and upper boxes on a snap-on truck that came through his work. Those two boxes there I bought when I built this shop. Those are from Harbor Freight. I just took the wheels off of them and made them stationary. Actually, I used the wheels on my center table right here so that it's portable. Those are speakers underneath, PA system. This radio is interesting. This radio I bought when I was probably 13 or 14 years old. I got it from Target for 150 bucks. It was on clearance. It's the first CD player I had ever really seen. And uh, I spent a lot of hard earned money on that sucker. This is some amplifiers for our big speaker system. TV is so handy in the shop. So right now Chromecast is just broadcasting a photo album that I have. So you can see pictures of family the whole time or a lot of times I will cast YouTube up on there and I can watch videos while I'm working on stuff. So that's kind of nice. Here's a little heater I have. This is supplemental heat for when we're just doing stuff right, right over here in front of the heater and I want it to get warm real quickly without a bunch of noise, then I can run that heater. This is my little welding area, metal shop, I guess. Got a nice heavy table that I got for free from Larry. I set up a ventilation system uh, this is ductwork so that I could have an exhaust fan to suck ex uh, welding fumes and grinding dust out, but I never completed that. That's a project that's on the list to do uh, well ever since I built this building in 2013, so still working on that. Chop saw that I brought from my dad about 10 years ago. Uh, never took it back. Sorry, Dad. Drill press I got from Tim. So this is a welder. This is one of the few things I did buy new. I bought that welder a long time ago. There's a plasma cutter in that case there too. That I bought brand new. Actually, I didn't buy it. It was traded for some work I did. Steel shelving for all my steel, scrap steel, and this is always handy to have in a shop. These carts right here, we use these carts. They came from a hospital. I know a lot of folks that work in hospitals. My brother is one of them. That looks like a baby cart. It is a baby cart. There's a couple of them in here. Okay, you wanna go up the stairs, I guess? I don't know. Let's go upstairs. Well, I call this my hardware store because I try to keep spare stuff up here. The first shelf is all automotive, so garden tractor stuff and parts for vehicles. You get it, right? The middle shelf is like home improvement stuff, a lot of caulk and nails and fasteners and things you might use in the house. There's some miscellaneous stuff in the back. Third one is electrical and plumbing, a lot of miscellaneous stuff. I can't believe I'm showing you all this junk up here, but. I need to do a lot of work up here, but it's a nice place to keep stuff out of the way. And then a lot of miscellaneous stuff down here. Folding chairs real handy to get to when you need them. 
And then I've lined the edge with old toys that I've found throughout the years. Some of them are for when I was a kid and some of them I've picked up since along the way. Some of them people have given me too. These are some things I've found in the fields while I'm out soil sampling. Actually, my uncle Kenny had that uh, wasp nest there, or hornet nest, whatever it is, and the heater. The heater, so this is heated with uh, wood from the wood boiler. That's If you've been on this channel, you've seen the wood boiler. You've seen me cutting wood. There's uh, water lines that are plumbed over from that stove over to here, and that's how it's heated. Four-wheelers, my daughter's two four-wheelers. A lot of people have commented about this three-wheeler before. Uh, this was my grandpa's, my grandpa Kof's three-wheeler. It's a 1985 200S. I think he got it brand new or nearly brand new, and it's been in the family ever since. So here's a big, nice storage tray I haven't put anything in, and a pegboard I really haven't utilized too much. Here is like my fastener cabinet. This is a cabinet from the hospital, and it's clear full of screws and fasteners and... Uh, nails and then a lot of miscellaneous storage stuff here this is the carousel of good intention because I intend to organize everything I put everything in this carousel thinking I'll go through here and organize it and put it away well you've seen what that becomes and this is the stuff I found while I was cleaning up that's got to go out of here projects like that air compressor that I pulled out of a dumpster that I have never fixed. There's a jack that I found along the road that doesn't work, but it's been in here for five years or more. So it's just time to move some of this stuff along. All right, that's kind of a pretty good oversight of everything that's in here, but I did want to talk about, uh, well, that. So I play the drums in a little cover band with some family members, my cousins and the neighbor. I'm not much of a drummer, but we have a lot of fun. We've played at Harland Days and some local family parties and some local gigs. And we got one coming up next weekend. We're playing for the local volunteer fire department. Well, it's a paid fire department too, but we're playing for their Christmas party next week. I don't play the guitar, but I think they look really cool hanging on the wall. So there's a couple guitars to kind of dress it up. And then if we ever get anybody over here that needs a guitar and wants to play along, then we got them covered. That brings us to these chairs, yeah? When we're playing, every Thursday night, we practice out here in the shop. There's usually people that show up to watch and listen, and I'm a sucker for old office chairs when people are throwing them away. Somehow, they have wound up here. These speakers are for the band, and we power it with this amplifier here. On my welding table, how many welding tables in America have a big, uh, soundboard on this is our old soundboard that i need to sell but when i weld i have to move that out of here obviously oh uh, let's see what else did i miss that engine right there that john deere hit and miss engine that was my grandpa schaefer's my mom's father and uh, i'm really happy to have that for my grandpa schaefer and a lot of these toys and trinkets are all stuff i've just collected along the way and i like souvenirs that's from harlan days several years ago there's actually a video on the channel about I used to put on an excavator challenge at Harland Days, so that's a souvenir from that. And just, I just like things when you can, when you can save a piece of something and it brings back a memory. I'm just a sucker for that. Much to the chagrin of my wife, who, who doesn't like that as much as I do, but I like keeping stuff. Well, that's the main part of the shop out here. I'll go ahead and show you my office, I guess. That door is from my uh, mom and dad's house. That was our kitchen door for a long, long time. But here's the office. Less echo in here. Here's where I edit and make all my videos. When I built this shop, that's the one, that's one of the two things I did not expect was to be making YouTube videos. But so here's all my old stuff. I've been trying to transfer a bunch of our old tapes. I've got a bunch from when I was a kid and a bunch from when I was, uh, when Karen and I first got married. 18 years ago. So I've been working on those. Uh, here's where I keep all my camera gear and all my charging stuff, the drone, and of course, a couple action cameras. The camera I'm holding obviously goes up there. So this is kind of my, my gear station. I got a bunch of sp spare gear up here in this cabinet, a bunch of camera stuff and wires and chargers and backups and all kinds of stuff. Another charging station for batteries. 
This is all electronic stuff, cables and wires and phones of days gone by. Here is the restroom. The siding is recycled material from a building that I tore down. I think there's a video of that on the channel too. Air compressors in here too. Got a little board. TV that I never watch anymore. The siding in here is actually from the building that got blown down that that was the reason kind of for the start of this shop. So well, that's the inside. There's a few things I want to talk about here outside, maybe. All right. Now for the part that I said was for subscribers only. So if you're not subscribed, then you can either stop watching or you can hit that subscribe button to keep watching. I don't ask for subscribers at all because I just don't like the way, I, I just don't. So I, want to, I just wanted to talk about a few things and kind of wrap up 2021 and think about 2022. So what are my highlights from 2021? Well. The channel had good growth. Uh, I love the interaction with the viewers, people that leave comments. I read every comment. And I had, I think, over 4,000, 5,000 comments somewhere in that neighborhood in 2021. So half of those are mine. I think I, I responded to almost every comment. There's maybe 20 that I just hit the thumbs up button to or give it a little heart, but uh, maybe 50, I don't know. I replied to thousands of comments. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to keep that up moving forward. I will always probably respond in some way to show you that I read the comment, but um, for all you diehard commenters, and there's a handful of them, I'd love to go down a list of commenters, and maybe I will someday, but just know that I look forward to seeing your comments every week, and I appreciate all the support and just the consistency that I get from a lot of viewers. It's, it's awesome, it's a great feeling. So I'm gonna to try to keep up the weekly uploads. One video a week is about all I can muster. I, uh, I have lots of projects going on and lots of things I wanna tackle in 2022, but it takes me all week to edit them the way I like to edit. And I'm gonna to try to throw in some shorter ones midweek. I've done some shorts in the past. I like those because they're easy to get done, but that's my goal is to throw in some smaller videos midweek sometimes. In 2021, we had the YouTube meet and greet at the Louisville Construction Show this, this year. This, I forget when it was, but that was awesome. I met a lot of great YouTubers and we got to hang out with a bunch of them. I met Watch West Work, all the YouTubers that they all seem to want to help each other and I don't do enough to say thank you to them back. So Dirt Perfect and Kleeman and Tractor Time with Tim and Wes and SOT that made my sign and just... One thing I wanted to talk about that I haven't brought up is sponsors. I think sponsors and uh, products that you're given. I think that the products, they like to prey on the smaller YouTubers. So they send you free products and they want you to put them in a video or they want you to feature that product and make a video just about it. I've had a lot of offers like a lot of the other YouTubers have and I've accepted only a handful. I've accepted ones that I will use or I think are a benefit to the channel. Uh, so what are those so far? The headlights for the Jeep and the headlights for the, my dump truck. Those were products that were given to me in exchange for putting them in a video. And to me, those were, I mean, that was a good use of those products and something I would have done regardless of whether they sent it to me or not. Uh, another thing that was sent to me just recently, and this is another example, is, is this like battery jump pack. So this was provided to me by a manufacturer and they want me to use it in a video. And it's perfect because I'm always having terrible battery trouble with everything. I'm always having to jump everything. So to me, this is a great fit for the channel. You know, try this out. And if I like it, I'll say I like it. And if I don't, I'll say I won't. You know, I don't make any promises that I'm gonna promote their product. If I don't like it, I'm, I would not suggest this to my viewers. That's, that's what I wanna do. Uh, another thing, Brunt Work Boots. Um, they sent me work boots and I've been wearing them, but I never really promote them that much. Uh, they're good boots, I like them. It took a while to get them broken in, but um, I've probably inserted some video clips by now of these work boots, me putting them on and stuff. They're pretty good boots. If you wanna buy a pair of Brunt boots and you use my code, 
K-O-C-H was my last name, Kof10, you get 10% off a pair of Brunt work boots. So that's my piece on Brunt work boots. They're good boots. Give me your thoughts and your feedback on embedded products in the videos, you know? Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Some people have asked me about hats. I have a handful of people that I need to contact that have asked me about hats already and they'll have first dibs, but if you are interested in a hat, I have two different styles. So I always wear the unstructured hat. You know, it's soft. That's what this one is, unstructured. Here's one with the full color logo. There's the full color logo. That's the unstructured hat. You know, they're kind of rounded on top. Oh, I've also got some of the structured hats now too. I got them with the full color logo that have the yellow, green, and white. And then I, I also have a few with just the, the yellow like this one. So I want to thank you so much for watching and being around in 2021. All you subscribers make me want to do this more. So I really appreciate it. I hope I see you around in 2022. That's not how I'm supposed to say that. If I'm lucky, I will see you around in 2022. Thanks so much for watching. We'll check you later. So this barn can change ownership and it could be someone else's barn. But there's one thing in here that makes it my shop. And that is this. I've shown this on the channel too before in a video, but I don't think many people may remember it, but this is my Father's Day gift every year. I have my girls write or they draw every year and you can see their progression from three years old in 2015 through the years. And so this year on Father's Day, we'll go there. And if all goes according to plan and we're still here, they'll be 18 years old when we get to the end above that last window. So if I ever move out, I'm gonna have to take that door with me. All right, thanks a lot for watching. And I hope you have a great new year.